food economy is the first economy of any society. As we're thinking about how we build a more sustainable and just economy, again, food has to figure prominently into that. The Detroit Black Community Food Security Network is a nonprofit organization that started in 2006. We operate Detroit's largest farm, D-Town Farm, where we grow more than 36 different fruits, vegetables, and herbs each year. We train cohorts of new farmers. We do large-scale composting. We have a rainwater retention system where we're able to collect rainwater and use that to water our crops. We have a solar energy station where we're generating eight kilowatts of solar energy. We have all kinds of dope programs for children. We also are leading the development of the Detroit Food Commons, a new 34,000 square foot building that we're building along with our development partner, Develop Detroit, on the southeast corner of Woodward at Euclid. The Detroit Food Commons project is one that Malika Keeney uh, and his organization have been working toward for, for literally years, almost a decade. The basic idea is to introduce a community-owned, cooperatively-run grocery store into uh, a neighborhood that would qualify by just about any metric as a food desert. And so you would think on its face that that concept would be something that would resonate with funders and investors who do this type of work. But it really wasn't until last year when I think um, sequence of events after George Floyd was murdered really led to much deeper thinking and a lot more intentionality on the part of community investors on what it means to honor this racial equity work. So we're really excited about the Detroit Food Commons and we think it'll be a game changer, not only because of the Detroit People's Food Co-op on the first floor, but on the second floor, we'll have four shared use kitchens that can be used by food entrepreneurs of various sizes. That will allow aspiring or growing food entrepreneurs to get their food out into the market um, without having to invest in expensive kitchen equipment or expensive restaurant build outs. That you have a majority African-American city, but no grocery stores owned by African-Americans. They're operated by people who don't live in the community, who come in and take the profits that are made uh, by people in the neighborhood spending their money in those stores but the money doesn't circulate within the community. So if we were even able to capture 10% of the money that Detroiters spend on fruits and vegetables, we would have millions of dollars that we could then use to build these uh, vibrant communities where the people living in the communities benefit from the money that they spend on food. So it can be a tremendous economic driver, uh, both for uh, the creation of jobs and for economic vitality in general. Thank you.